Hello, Mike Sale here. I'm going to show you how to use WPCLI to install and activate Elementor, Elementor Pro, as well as assign the license or activate the license for Elementor Pro via WPCLI. So instead of going in Add New and then going through the Add New Upload plugin for Elementor Pro, I'm actually going to do this all from the command line, which I have scripted when I'm doing this in, in real life, but want to show you interactively what you can do and how easy it is. So first, um, the WP command, if you've got this set up right, or if you're using a service like Cloudways, WP is aliased appropriately so that you can actually run uh, WP CLI commands like plugin list, which will show you your currently listed plugins, their status, are they active or inactive? And do they have an update that's awaiting them? And so I'm going to go ahead and do a WP plugin install Elementor. <coughs> so that's um, running Elementor or getting Elementor from WordPress.org. And I'm going to do the same thing for Elementor Pro. But wait a minute, I, it's not at WordPress.org. So I actually have it. Um, somewhere else. So it's on my local machine here. I've copied it over. I've copied over a bunch of them typically. Uh, and in this case, it's in my development environment. So I'm going to go ahead and go to home admin. I've got a directory called plugins and all the zip files in there are WordPress plugins that I want to install when I first uh, get up and running. And in this case, I've just put the one in. Oh, I need to put in the install command that would help wouldn't it great so now if i do wp plugin list it's going to show me elementor and elementor pro but they're both inactive so what i could have done um so let's just for the for the fun of it here wp uh, plugin delete elementor that's going to go ahead and delete it. Now I'm going to do plugin install Elementor. But this time I'm going to just activate it when I install it. So now when we list it out, we're going to see that the Elementor is actually active um, because I ran this activate command. So now what I want to do is go ahead and activate uh, Elementor Pro. And this just activates the plugin. This is not licensing yet. So WP uh, plugin activate Elementor Pro. Now what you'll see is both have a status of active. All right. So now um, what I want to do is go ahead and I'm going to license Elementor Pro. So once I have Elementor uh, installed and active, it actually allows me to um, run Elementor. Um, commands via WPCLI. So in this case, you can see there's flush CSS, import library. If you have, for example, a bunch of templates that you always uh, want to pull in for a, let's say, a, a kind of a style, you can do that via WPCLI. It's pretty nice. So in this case, I'm going to do WP Elementor Pro. This is important because it doesn't come with just Elementor, but Elementor Pro license activate and then put in my license I've got some uh, text expander magic there that's helping me to fill that out uh, that should be blurred out for you I'm gonna go ahead and activate it there we go so now the license is active and if we do a WP 
plugin list again, guess what? It's there. And now let's go ahead and take a look here. If we refresh, you're going to see that Elementor is there, Elementor Pro is there, and the license is taken care of. Right? So now it's active. Isn't that nice? All right. That's it for now. Thanks, folks.